everybody, what's up? My name is Becky Fiddler here to give you another Muscle Functions video of the week. Last week I went over the fourth and final quadricep muscle. So this week I decided to go on the opposite side of the thigh and start going over the hamstring muscles. There are several of them and I will only go over one per video. Like always, I will go over the origin insertion functions and exercises of this muscle. Okay, so to start off with the hamstrings, um, I decided to pick the biceps femoris for this video just because it's kind of special. It's similar to the bicep brachii because it has two heads, one long head and one short head just like the bicep brachii. So to go over both of those heads, they both originate in two different spots but insert into the same spot. So don't be confused if I give you two separate origins but only one insertion because they both insert into the same spot. So to start off I'm going to go over the long head of the biceps femoris. Okay so the origin of the long head of the biceps femoris is on the ischial tuberosity or the sits bone. Now this bone is pretty much your butt bone. It's what you sit on and it is the pointy bone that you would feel in the back of your butt. So the short head of the biceps femoris originates on the lower half of the lena aspera, okay, and the lateral condyloid, condyloid ridge, okay. Now they both insert into the head of the fibula and the lateral condyle, condyle of the tibia, okay. So I'm going to show you where this muscle is, and then I will go further. So, as I stated, the long head of the biceps femoris originates on the ischial tuberosity or the sits bone. Okay, so pretty much your butt bone, wherever that bony part is, that's where that long head starts. Okay, pretty much right in the middle of your butt. Okay, now the short head starts on the lower half of the lena aspera. Okay, so the lena aspera runs right down the middle of your femur here. So you're looking at the lower half. Okay, so it originates on that lower half. And the lateral condyloid ridge, which is pretty much the bottom of the femur here, pretty much on the knuckle part. Okay, and then they insert, okay, to the head of the fibula, which is the larger bone in the bottom part, okay, now it's laterally, okay, so we're looking on the outside of our knee, the head of the fibula, and the lateral condyle of the tibia, which is a smaller bone that runs along the side of the fibula, okay. So it basically runs right along the back side of your leg but then ends up on the outside of your knee. Okay, now as far as the action goes for, or the functions go for the biceps femoris, these include the flexion of the knee, extension of the hip, posterior pelvic rotation, external hip rotation, and external rotation of the knee when it is flexed. Okay, so flexion of the knee, you're going from a straight knee to a bent knee. Okay, so we're looking at flexion of the knee. We're looking at extension of the hip. So if you would bend over and then stand up, because you're making the muscle shorter by bringing the sits bone closer to the knee, you're working that muscle. We also have posterior pelvic rotation. So if you take your hip and rotate it forward, but then rotate it back or tuck your butt in, that's posterior pelvic rotation. We also have external hip rotation. Okay, so that is taking your leg and just twisting it out to the side. Okay, see how my knee's twisting out to the side? do that through hip external rotation okay now also 
I have spoken about external rotation of the knee when the knee is flexed. And that is pretty much only whenever the knee is flexed. So we're looking at knee flexion and then external rotation of the knee. So it's letting it point outwards. Okay. Now exercises for the biceps femoris. Um, there are various exercises, however, with the biceps femoris and the hamstrings, you get also get work from the gluteus maximus. They work pretty much together to try to get your rear end up, pretty much. So anytime that you do hip extension, you're also working your glutes as well. So to, I'm going to give you a couple exercises that you can do that will work for the hamstrings but will also incorporate the glutes as well and that is deadlifts such as sit, stiff leg deadlifts also Romanian deadlifts um, so as far as uh, just working the biceps femoris for you you're looking to try to cancel out the gluteus maximus okay and the only way to cancel out the glutes completely is to not do hip extension also hip external rotation because the glutes help with external rotation as well so the main movement to work solely the biceps femoris we are looking at leg curls okay but to especially work them extra hard we're looking at leg curls with the knee whenever the knee is flexed you want it externally rotated Okay, so you're looking at whenever you have your knee flexed, you want to externally rotate it a little bit, and you want to work like curls like that. Okay, so again, you have it bent, and you want to rotate your knee out, and then you want to work leg curls. So that will work the biceps femoris the best. The best way will be to do it that way uh, like I said other ways you you can use those it will help however you won't be working solely uh, the biceps femoris or mostly the biceps femoris it is quite hard or difficult or nearly impossible to work just one muscle only because the human body works all together not one piece and the other than the other we're built to work all together or in sync with each other or all the muscles with each other so I hope you guys learned something for this video um, if it seemed a little bit confusing or too much information please feel free to rewind and watch and please feel free to try that leg curl with the knee externally rotated in your next leg workout have fun everybody train hard see you next time